Hey guys, I have Ryan here and Hi I'm Marie, I guess. I don't need to introduce myself. But <laughs> so I wanted to talk to Ryan because he posted in Rule Your Rankings a really engaging post and he got a lot of comments on it. But I wanted to actually talk about the post, what you were talking about. I know you mentioned relevancy. You mm -hmm. showed a, a cool snapshot. But I really wanted to break it down so that anybody watching is able to apply it to any of the, the sites that they're working on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, the, the picture and the post was meant to show like the early stages of when you're taking on a new site or you're building a new page. What do you do before you start looking at, you know, sending budget and resources to links, which is what everybody wants to do. That's what everybody believes is the golden ticket, but it's just not. Um, and the purpose was to say, look, if you take care of your on-page first, you build the relevancy and by relevancy, I mean, if it's a local term in a city, you build out phrases that are related to that city or that term in a bigger context. And once you've got that sorted out, when you send links, it's going to be way more powerful. Okay. So that was the okay. idea. Okay. So let's break down something that you just said, because I know people will be interested. So you're talking about specific terms. So let's take a term, Austin roofing, roofing, Austin mm -hmm. roofing. Let's yeah. say that's your term. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're building relevancy, are you talking about on the actual page or throughout the site? So both. You okay. need to control both. So the, the way that I do it and I'll, try and keep it I won't you know go too detailed with it but the way that I'll do it is if you have a page so if it's if it's Austin roofers or roofing mm -hmm. um, you hopefully everyone's familiar with how you do a keyword research task and you go in and, and you find your keywords yes. that you need to rank for so you group those keywords right and that's not just your exact match and your variations of your exact match it's words that are going to build context about roofing right? And words that are going to build context around Austin. So, okay. so give me an example of one for roofing. I mean, I know very little about roofing, but it could be the type of tile, the type of roof that you, uh, roofing that yes. you're using, the type of construction that you need. Yeah. The type of shingles, exactly. the type of nails, like whatever you're going to do to perform that service. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So it's like if I was installing, uh, a bathroom, right? I would be talking about plumbing, kitchen, uh, not kitchen, sorry, plumbing, sinks, toilets, shower screens, the tools that I use, the whole lot. Okay. Um, because that provides a much bigger piece of relevancy than if I was just saying bathroom installations, that's that finished. So on page, you've got all of these terms that are providing context around your main topic, whatever it might be. And then once you've got that figured out, you can use those same phrases across your site as internal links back into the page. Yes. So yes. you're sending relevancy from other pages into that URL by using good anchor text and good internal links. Yes. So you're interlinking and the yep. anchors that you're using are the words that you're talking about that help describe the service, the materials that you're using, let's say for roofers, shingles or tools or plumbers with toilets and whatever yeah. else their leaky pipe thing going on so exactly yeah we <laughs> we don't talk about leaks we just do not <laughs> so when you're looking at relevancy on the actual page that you want to rank do you use any particular tools or are you just eyeballing it like what are you doing so i'll do both so i'll normally look at the top 10 results and maybe even the top 20 and say, okay, so what gaps are they filling that my client isn't? So whether it's like you said, the tool, the type of material, if they're referencing anything to do with the city or the location they're talking about, I'll look at that first and then I'll take the keyword and I'll use either page optimizer pro and I'll use cognitive SEO as well. Okay. Um, cognitive SEO is super good for, um, the kind of semantic related terms, I would, I would recommend that to anybody. Okay. And then th that reminded me, let's try, give me a couple of words. Let's say if your city is Austin, how would you find your, your words for relevancy with in the actual city? 
So um, there's a couple of ways you can do it. So you can take the term and plug it into Google Maps and you'll get like landmarks and big city uh, stuff that's relevant to the city that you're in. Mm -hmm. You can plug it into Wikipedia and take Austin and there'll be entities scattered all over the page. Yeah. Um, and you also can grab the images from the image search. So yeah. you type in Austin and you can grab tons of entities from it that way because it will be in the carousel and it will give it away. Yeah. Um, well, that's how I do it. Yeah. I use Wikipedia most of the time just because it's all just in one yeah. <laughs> place and they've probably already found like the biggest and best parts of the city anyway. Yeah. So just exactly. go to Wikipedia. So it's all there. It's there for everybody to take if you don't have the tools, you know, because yeah. some of the tools are expensive. Yes. Um, if you don't have the tools or you can't, you don't have the budget right now, Wikipedia is a great source. Yeah. Um, use your maps and use the image search because the carousel will be, if for Austin, for example, it would normally show you landmarks and stuff related to the location by default. And they will be the closest linked entities to your location. So use that. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good tip. So hopefully by now everyone understands you're not only talking about the page, but also yeah. the entire website. And you talk yeah. about internal links and anchors coming in. We talked about how to find these magical relevant words for not only the service, but the city. So yeah. is there anything else that you need to really point out so that they are able to, you know, just run with it and do it on all of their sites? Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a process that you could probably framework, um, and just repeat it for each location that you go into. I would always assess your on-page the way that you would for any, so if it's an e-commerce product or a location, it doesn't matter. The way you do it should be exactly the same. You go out, you find entities related to your keyword, whatever that might be, um, mm -hmm. Make sure that you're, I mean, if you don't, again, if you don't have tools, there are things out there that you can look at like um, SEO Quake, I think it's called yes. free Chrome extension. You can yes. pull all, all of your headers out, see what the header structure looks like, see what the word count looks like, get a decent average of that word count, see where the kind of key terms are in these, the, the header structure of the page, figure out if it's like on purpose or once you understand entities, you'll start to notice things in headers, like people are doing it on purpose. Um, and collect as much as you can about the topic you're writing about. Uh, mm -hmm. Things like for location, zip codes in the UK, postcodes, um, close by or nearby cities, again, plays a big part in that. And you can use that as an internal linking structure. Super easy to do. Um, and to be honest, I wouldn't overcomplicate it. I just yes. wouldn't. Yes. <laughs> Keep it simple. Fill the page with good, useful content about your service and your city. And you should be good. Yeah, that's right. So that's do you right. have any... that's the secret sauce? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's but that's kind of boring, right? So it is. <laughs> there must be something boring. better, but really the secret sauce is just work, paying attention to what you're actually doing, and then using common sense as you yeah. do it, basically. I mean, that's all there is. That's all there is to it. That is the secret sauce. I mean, if you can get that nailed, you're in a pretty good position. Yeah. Um, because then you can start to guarantee, you know, the outcome. Yes. Once it works a few times, you know it's going to carry on working. Yes, which is what everyone's after is a guaranteed system that works yep. every single time, you know, and something else you mentioned, it, this works across the board on any type of site, um, yep. any site. So if you have a small local site, maybe just with one city, it works. Uh, mm -hmm. I use it for really big, e-com sites, for affiliate sites, for national sites, yep. any type of site, the exact <laughs> same framework works, which I wanted to point out because a lot of times that blows people's mind. They don't realize that across the board, the system just keeps working throughout all of the sites. Yeah. And it's, same thing. you know, I've, I've worked with, like you said, you work with local sites and you're probably more limited in what you can do um, mm -hmm. in comparison with like a big econ site, but the principles are exactly the same. Yes. Um, yes. And once you figure that out and you understand how you can build relevancy either in clusters. So if it's roofing, you keep that relevancy within a cluster. Um, 
once you've got that figured out and you know how to drive rele relevancy between those pages, you could apply it to a huge site and you attack it in sections, or if it's a small site, you just attack the whole damn thing. Yeah. So it's, pre it's pretty simple, but it's, <laughs> it's simple, but it's overcomplicated because people want it to be overcomplicated. So it seems cool. Yes. But it's, it's not, it's really just, it's not sexy, but it's effective. Well, I'll tell you what's cool is going to the bank to cash all the checks. Yep. Because you have a guaranteed <laughs> system that works every single time and you're never really worried about what's going to happen to a site. I think to me, yep. that's cool instead of all the other hype and stuff that we have out there. So yeah. now you did mention on make this point and then you can show us anything that you have and then we'll wrap it up because I like yeah, to sure. keep everything short, but what you talked about doing all of this on page, all of the relevancy, everything we just talked about. Do you do that before you worry about backlinks? Absolutely. Um, okay. And there's one very good reason for that is because if I don't do that stuff first, when I spend money on links, I'm going to end up spending more money. And their likelihood is they're going to be less effective. Yeah. So yeah. If, if you're playing with clients money, you want to get that stuff fixed and Straight make away. sure you're spending the money. Exactly. Right. Yes. Yes. So and always also, do it first. Yeah. And also who doesn't, I mean, I love spending a lot less money on backlinks. Exactly. Right. And, I, want, then, I want to pocket that. <laughs> yeah. I would rather go out to eat, I guess. And exactly. Have it right. As a profit instead of blowing your money through backlink after backlink after backlink. So makes perfect sense to me. I know that's exactly how we've set up the rule your rankings principles and our, our framework and exactly how we work. So that's why I wanted to talk to you about it. Um, I think your system is very similar to ours. And I know you've had a lot of success since we last talked to you. <laughs> I know Moon interviewed you. How long ago was that? Like three and a half years, maybe. I think, yeah, it's been forever. And I think it's when you first came onto the scene but um i had her interview you because i i saw some of your work and i know how uh put together it was and i know how much attention you were paying to on page which you don't see that very often um i know i we don't see it very often so <laughs> we took a big interest in you so did you have anything that you wanted to show or any kind of whatever you have for us yeah just really really quick so um the that post that we talked about where I, I said, look, build your relevancy first. Um, and quite rightly, people were saying, look, it's not ranking. You're getting no clicks for that stuff. Yep. Which is fair enough. You know, I understand that. Took some heat. Um, yeah. The same, the same page that I showed in that, that post um, at the time was brand new. That page was brand new. Yep. Um, so if I show you real quick, oh no, wait, host disabled participant screen sharing. <laughs> Okay. okay, so ho hopefully you can see my screen. Um, yes. I yes. just wanted to, this is the, the website that I was working on that the post related to. Um, and like immediately the thing that stands out the most, I, I'm just going to put this in context. I started working with these guys three months ago. So not a great, you know, not a great deal of time to actually get stuff moving and ranking, especially in the web design niche. It's, you know, quite competitive. Yes. Um, so I took over around here. Mm -hmm. That's when I took over the site. Um, and you can see the traffic is like coming back to. Yes. You can, two years nice, ago. you can see a nice spike from that's, you know, the going back up, but it's interesting that they had such a plummet going down. Do you know what happened? Yeah. So, um, basically they have a habit of changing their website and migrating designs. And um, there had never been a thought to do that, you know, to consider what was actually going to happen to those URLs once the migration had happened. Um, and also the, the content, their blog content was actually really poor, outdated, and it just needed to get rid of. Right? We got rid of tons of it. We just completely scrapped it. We didn't need it. Um, so we got rid of all of that. We allowed the crawler to find the stuff that made the most sense. So the most relevant pages, we don't want to let it spend time on pages that have you know absolutely no purpose yeah um we fixed that i built out a, a bunch of new location pages and 
we're doing about five or 10 pieces of supporting content a month. So this is a lag effect. This will continue to grow over the next couple of months. Um, and it's going to be like the traffic and the, the, the ranking keywords are going to be higher than it's ever been. And the relevancy and the way that that's helped so much is because I focus on getting the on-page right first before I even touch links. Mm -hmm. And then I use the links where necessary to power that up. So whether that's at the, 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 the homepage or if I need to send it directly at a inner page, I will do that. Um, or if I need to, if I've got a cluster, I will send it into the cluster and let the internal links do its job. Um, and then I just want to show you this quickly. And this okay. is the outcome of that location page, which I put in the group at the time, brand new page in the web design niche. What was it? Six weeks ago, five weeks ago. Now we're position two. No, no backlinks at it. I believe maybe actually one and it's position two. It's stuck there and it's there for maybe 60 odd terms. Yeah. So it's yeah. ranking well, it's doing its job and the client's happy they're getting leads in. So that's, that's what you need from a client. Um, and traffic doesn't have to be massive because if I've got 10 visits a month and they're worth 3000 pounds per visit, yeah. that's way, that's worth way more to me. Yes. Yes. So hopefully that cleared, cleared that up from the, the previous post and why relevancy is so important before you yes. do any kind of links. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I think we, I think we broke it down as many ways as we could. Um, but if there's questions or someone still doesn't understand something, just drop a comment either, you know, underneath the video or in the group and we'll try and help iron it out or see what we can do to help. So that's all I have. Uh, awesome. it was nice talking to you. I'm glad you took you the too. time out of your you busy schedule. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you later. Bye guys. See you later guys. And